Hey guys, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and we are still in the Croptoberfest prep stages leading up to October 23rd, which is an all day um, crafting event that I am hosting here in conjunction with YouTube and Facebook. And for those of you that do not choose to participate through Facebook, it would be via email. So please be sure to check out the previous videos where I talk about the kit as well as cutting instructions and now we're moving on to what I call printables and other supplies. So in order to complete the scrapbooking layouts and cards, we do need to have some sort of embellishments. Some of these we'll be making in a class and some of them are items that you can pull from your stash as well as some printable links that I've provided you. So all of these links are included in the event details or in the event package. Um, they're free with the exception of the bonus class printables which I'll talk about specifically when we get there. Uh, you just basically have to go online, click on the link, print them out and then they're good to use. Now some of these printables I am providing because I don't know what you have in your stash. If you have a collection of stamps, for instance, you probably don't need to use these printables. You can swap out stamps in place of. I'm gonna pull in here at the end some items from my stash that I think would work to give you some ideas. But first of all, let's talk about printables. So this one here is from Teresa Collins and it's going to be a variety of sentiments that we can use on our greeting cards. So this is a really great one if you don't have any sentiment stamp sets. The theme for Croptoberfest is pretty much sunflowers. <laughs> At least that's how I interpret it. Um, this is another printable. You get just a single image. I laid the image on an 8.5 by 11 paper and printed off four. This will make a great embellishment for either scrapbook layouts or uh, a focal point for a card. I also found a printable for leaves in two different sizes. Um, we will be using this in the embellishment class. If you have a stamp, an outline leaf stamp of your own, or multiple stamps like those of most of us do, <laughs> you can use that in place of this, but if you don't, these are available for you to print out. I also found a couple printables that have fall themed tags and these are really great embellishments for either the scrapbook layouts or for cards. In addition there is a sunflower printable. These are only two of the printables offered on this particular website. Um, I printed out template one and template six. As you can see they have a variety of sunflowers as well as some bees. These will use as embellishments for the scrapbook layouts or for the cards. Again, if you've got stamps that feature flowers, use those instead. Or of course, you can always do a combination of both. Okay, so now let's talk about printables that are available exclusively through me for this event. Everyone who registers for the event will receive this free printable that has the um, small little words. It's got an alpha, a tile alpha, as well as some cut aparts that we can use for either embellishments on the scrapbook layouts or on the cards. If you qualify for the bonus class, you will receive three additional printables. I have switched this up a little bit. Originally I had included this as one of the three, but I've decided to offer this one free to all those who register and instead I have added an additional sheet full of cut aparts. So this is what I'm calling um, Croptoberfest printable one and then this is Croptoberfest printable two. If you are participating in the bonus class you will need two of these and then this is three. Okay so let's talk about prep. All of these can be trimmed out and be ready to go. You can color these images and what I would suggest you do is trim them to about a three by four size. That will give you flexibility to trim them further down if you want to use them as an ephemera piece um, or it will give you the option to use as a card panel. Do you need all four? Probably not. I'm only going to demonstrate one image on a card, but there are lots of scraps and stuff left over so you may want to make more. For these, I'm going to tell you to hold off on trimming these out. In the embellishment class, we will be altering these and then trimming them out. 
For the tags, I would encourage you to have those trimmed and ready to go. For these sunflowers, again, you could have these trimmed and ready to go. When it comes to the free printable from me, um, I would encourage you to maybe trim out the words. I would hold off on the alpha. I think this would be easier to trim as you use. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of little tiny pieces and sorting would be kind of a pain. But you can definitely trim out the floral pieces at the bottom. You may also want to consider before trimming out like the alpha and the word stickers to adhere some double sided tape on the back. If you do that then you will convert these into stickers. For the bonus class definitely you can trim out all of these images. You can trim out this. This is how I would recommend that you cut this out. I would start first with this stripe along the edge. Just line that up trim that out. We will be using this on one of the bonus layouts. Then I would turn this around and trim the labels. Okay, and then you can turn these into individual, have those ready to go. If you're like me and didn't quite cut it properly, we'll just trim that up a little bit more. Then I would suggest you cut out the three by four cards. So you can have those all pre-cut. And the circle labels are a one and three quarter inch. So if you have a die, you could cut that out. If you've got a punch like I do, of course, you can cut that out as well. And these are designed to have no white around them. So just trim them out like that. For the two sheets of these images, you're going to take one and you are going to you're going to trim these off at four and three quarters. These can then be trimmed, fussy cut and trimmed out if you would like. Same with these, you can trim and fussy cut these out as well. For this one, we're then gonna turn around Trim off the, for personal use, and we're going to trim this at about three and a half, okay? And then we just want to center this up a little bit. Um, we are going to mat this a four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. So if we go, just center this up, make this four and a half. I think that's going to look pretty good. If we have to trim the mat to fit, that's okay. I'd rather give you a little bit of extra in case your dimensions are slightly different than mine. So that's the first one. And then this one here, we're just going to kind of trim this so that it is about, let's go four and three quarters, which is where it's at. So I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter. Rotate this and trim it at four. Okay, so this is four by four and three quarters. Again, if we need to fine tune this, we will, but I just want you to have that roughly cut out already for the class. So that is it for the prep for the printables. Let me show you some ideas of things that you could pull from your stash that will support our layout and card making on the event day. Okay, so I've got a bunch of random stuff here pulled. So I'm just gonna go through it pretty quickly. Again, I'm not saying you need these specific items, but I'm hoping that these items will trigger something in your stash that you have that's similar. Of course, if you do have these items, pull them out and use them. So I pulled a couple um, embossing folders. This one here is um, from Design Objectives Limited. It's called Foliage Pattern. This one here is Floral Flourishes by Sizzix. I don't know how well you can see that pattern. It's got like a daisy Let's see. It's 
It's got like a daisy pattern on there. And then one from Stampin' Up! that's called Finial Press. And it's, I believe, actually supposed to be poinsettias, but it just looks like a flower to me. So I pulled those. From Stampin' Up! I pulled Jar of Love. Again, picking up on that mason jar theme. I have the stamp set and the dies, I believe. Yeah. Um, this is Apple of My Eye from Simon Says Stamp. Here's Tag Along Autumn from Tailored Expressions. This is a couple sets from Stampin' Up! French Foliage and Autumn Leaf Prints. Both of those would work really well. We are going to use some circles. If you want to do a shape instead of a generic circle, something like the Tim Holtz um, Texture Fade for Tree Rings, there's an embossing folder and a die that coordinates with this. That would be a really great option. From Spellbinders, I have some dies that are called Layered Colorful Blooms. Again, really great for making embellishments. Detailed Butterflies from Sizzix Tim Holtz. Garden Greens from Sizzix Tim Holtz. I have these really old die and embossing folder. These are from Provo Cat Craft or Cuddlebug Maple Leaf. Again, just another option. And then this is Little Leaves by Sizzix. Again, I'm not saying, I just want to repeat this, I'm not saying that I'm going to specifically be using all of these in the classes. These are just things that you can pull out to help supplement and complete your layouts and cards. Hopefully that makes sense. Some additional options. Um, inspired by nature, these are Stampin' Up! sets. It's a cone flower, not a sunflower, but it will still work. I've got Autumn Splendor and Autumn Fest. These again are both from Stampin' Up! Got pen pattern leaves. These are from Stampendous. They come with dies. Country Flowers. I think this is a Ranger Wendy Vecchi set. It's one that comes with dies as well as a stencil. Here's another one. Flower says it all. Comes with the stamps, dies, and stencil. Look for the Miracles. This is a Simon Says stamp set. Wild Flowers. This is um. A Tim Holtz set that was put out or available through like hot on um, um, that was available through Joann's. Tim has his own set as well with Stampers Anonymous. The image is a little bit bigger, and that is this set here, Flower Garden. So you'll notice, for instance, this flower and this flower are exactly the same. The only difference is, is this is slightly bigger than this one. And this is red rubber versus not red rubber. <laughs> Other ones that are great, um, looks like spring has a daisy type flower in it. This is from um, this is from Stampin' Up. If you want to go a more cute route, something like cute critters from MFT. Um, this was before I had the bigger package, so I cut this down. So which is why it looks so small or which is why I've got it layered. This is actually one of those taller stamp sets, but that's from MFT. Colored Layering Bird. This is from Hero Arts. And here's another one called Ornate Leaves. This is from Simon Says Stamp. Okay, you guys, the other thing that I want to talk about are punches or dies, other dies that you have in your stash. Again, I've pulled a lot of punches because they're quick and easy for what I'm doing, but if you have equivalent or similar dies, use those instead. So border punches. This was one from Creative Memories. It's a pumpkin one. This is one with hearts. We've got the arches. Any border punch will work. I just tried to keep it somewhat thematic or neutral. Okay. So those are border punches. The doily circle punch is a great one, or again if you use that Tim Holtz um, wood circle that would work or you can just use a six inch circle instead of this. Either will work if you've got a die that will cut it. Again, it's not so much about this specific shape but more the role that it will play on the card or layout. Circle punches are always a fantastic tool to have. As we talked already, one and three quarters you will use to punch out the circles on the bonus 
class printables. We will be using the scallop circle punch for an embellishment. Um, the three quarter and half inch circle punch will also be using for embellishments and the other ones are always up for grab. Okay, let's talk about layering shapes. Things like um, a label punch or ticket punch. This one is from EK Success. This is from Stampin' Up! Just different sides of tickets. I use this one, but of course you can use this if you have it in your stash. If you don't have shape punches like this, they're basically just rectangles, especially the ticket punch. It's just a rectangle with the notches cut out. So if you have a corner, a reverse corner, a punch or a ticket punch that will you'll easily be able to make these. Um, I also have a tab punch. This is from We Are Memory Keepers. We will be using this as well. And then let's talk about shape punches. I have this kind of daisy looking shape punch. This is really old. I don't even know who it's from. Oh, it's from Marvie. I don't even know if you can get it, but this is a pretty generic shape. You probably have a die in your stash if you're anything like me that's similar to this, or a punch, or if not, you can probably even um, go online and find a cut file if you have a cut machine. We will be making embellishments using this size, and this is approximately, it's approximately a one and a half inch. But again, if you have something a little bit bigger, not a big deal. You're just going to have a bigger embellishment. We'll also be using this image here. This is an old Stampin' Up! three flower punch. Um, again, it's not so critical that it be this stamp, but if you have something similar or even something like this, we will be using that as well. Butterflies, always very useful. If you've got punches or dies, dig them out. We are going to be using the smaller one. I did not use this one, but it could easily be interchanged for this one. I also have the three heart punch from Stampin' Up! We are using the small one. Um, I also have this small heart punch that's super old. It still does the job, so if you've got something like this, absolutely use it. I also have a die set from Simon's Stamp that has a whole bunch of small hearts. So again, just check your stash. If you have something that is some sort of leaf die or print, this would be helpful for one of the embellishments that we are going to be creating. A die set like this one you could use as well. This is very similar in look to this as is this one. Easily swappable for the punch. And then the last thing that we are going to be using is this bird builder punch from Stampin' Up! Again, if you do not have this, um, any shape, any shape could be used to replace this. So an example, you could use a heart instead of this. You're just going to have to make some minor adjustments. I did include this stamp set because there is a bird die here as well. So if you have this stamp set and don't have this, that will do the trick too. Again, because we are working remotely and I, I don't I don't know what you guys have access to. I'm just trying to give you options. So I think that is a lot. You will not need everything on here. I Like I said, I'm just giving you options so that you can check your stash and see what you have and what you can make substitutions with. Please be sure to check the event file that I will be sending you. It has all the detailed information in it as well as all the additional supplies. This is just kind of giving you an overview. Obviously, you're going to need things like white cardstock, you're going to need adhesive, etc., etc. So please be sure to check that list. If you are, if you've been a crafter for any length of time, you probably have something in your stash, stash that you can substitute. So please don't feel like you need to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff. So again, just some ideas kind of around the fall theme. Also be sure to check out um, an earlier video I posted with some elements that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, which includes some dimensional stickers, wood veneer, sequins, that kind of thing. Lots of stuff to work, <laughs> to work with. I'm really excited about digging into this kit with you and making some fun things. I hope you are going to join me. Again, the event is on October 23rd. It's a full day event. You can register either by joining the Facebook group, Creatively Crafted Memories, and 
indicating on the event that you will be attending or you can email me at a creatively crafted life at gmail.com and I will get you on the distribution list. All the classes with the exception of the bonus class will be offered through YouTube and of course there will be Zoom sessions where we can all craft together and I may have some bonus little tips and tricks and stuff throughout those sessions. Thanks so much for joining me and until then, happy crafting.